What's going on everybody and thank you for tuning in. So now I have owned the Platinum Pro one month. So today we're gonna go over some of the things that I like, I dislike, I especially like, and I really don't like after one month of ownership. All right, so a couple stats to get started with. I've owned the truck now one month and I will tell you right off the bat that I am extremely satisfied with the purchase. This truck is great. Uh, my fuel mileage after one month is 13.5, which is actually very good for two reasons. Number one, it's a new truck, so the fuel mileage always suffers in the beginning. And number two, it's been nothing but city, city driving. So it's really not bad, especially with the big off-road tires. I put 714 miles on it. So what I did was here, I made a list of three pros, three cons, a top pro, and basically a top con. All right? So you're basically getting four and four. So let's do, let's do the pros first, okay? My first pro is the look. I like what I've created with this and continue to create with this. A lot of people think it's a finished package, which it is not. Um, constantly improving, um, blacking out certain places, but not everything. A lot of ideas go through my head every day on what I'm gonna do with the truck, and it changes from day to day. I wanna thank you guys for yesterday's video when I was talking about putting on the black mirror caps and the black handles. A bunch of you have sent me links on where I could get that done for um, a good price, and I'm, I'm very happy for that. I couldn't find anything. You guys found it in two seconds, and that is why the Tundra Dude community rules. All right, so number one is the look. Definitely a big pro for me. I love everything about it so far, and I love some of the ideas that I have and some of the ideas that you guys have, which I've used quite a few of your ideas. Number two on the pro list is the features. Obviously the sunroof, a lot of the gadgets that are in this uh, truck are great. I really like, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I really like the digital um, layout, I guess, of the climate control. It's awesome. I love being able to just put the temperature on that I want. I love the cooled seats, which I'm actually sitting in the cooled seat right now with it on. I didn't think I would like that. I love that. So uh, yeah, I'm moving up in the status little by little I do like the luxury features but yeah the features in here are great um, definitely definitely happy for a lot of them and I'm actually thrilled that some of the features I didn't think I would care about I actually love uh, number three is the crew max cab and interior quality the crew max cab obviously this is my first crew max I love it I will never get a double cab again I'm sorry double cab team it was fun it was real but it wasn't real fun this cab is great, especially that back window that goes all the way down. There you go. That's for you guys. People always tell me they want to just see it go up and down. So there you go. By a switch of a button, window up, window down for you. Um, the interior quality of the Platinum is, is just top notch. Top notch all the way. Um, love the seats. Love the feel. Sorry, I saw a mark on my seat. Can't have that. Uh, yeah, I just, I just love... Somebody told me the other day they don't like the, the diamond design in the seats. What are, you, what are you talking about? I love it. They didn't like how it was on the dash and the doors, and they didn't like it right here on the seats. I, I don't know. Don't get the Platinum then, because that's what it's all about right there. Uh, but yeah, so the Crew Max cab, absolutely fantastic. So happy I got it. I understand what all you Crew Max guys were talking about all the time. And interior quality is top notch. Lexus grade. My top feature, this is that special add-on at the end, of all features in this car, truck, so I always say car. All features in this truck, my top feature is the blind spot monitoring. Okay, now that was one of those things that I was happy to get but didn't think I'd care about too much. What a great feature to have. It is, there are a few blind spots in here, especially with the Crew Max cab. There's a little bit more of a blind spot than in the double cab. But all I have to do is look over and see that little orange light on and know that there is a car next to me. Um, very impressed with that and I keep it on, use it all the time. Love it. That is my favorite feature. I know a lot of you thought I was going to say the moonroof. That's fun. That's been open almost every day. I'm definitely using that. But my favorite, favorite feature is that blind spot monitoring for sure. Dun, 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 On to the cons list now. You know, th this is the stuff we've talked about all the time. Drink of water. Time out. On the cons list, it's the stuff we always talk about. But, you know, that's the cons. Number one for me is handling and body roll. It's worse than the Pro. The body roll is worse than the Pro because of the bigger cab and the sunroof. The sunroof makes the truck top heavy. That was one of the first feelings I got when I was driving this truck. It felt a little heavier. Number one, 
bigger, more aggressive off-road tires. That doesn't help, but it definitely feels heavier up top with the cab and all the sunroof motor and all that stuff up there. Definitely heavier and you can feel it. The body roll is the, your standard body roll, but with all that extra weight up top, it definitely feels like it needs that sway bar very much, which will be coming sooner than later. If you watched my video yesterday, I'm trying to spread out my installations. So Monday will be the tonneau cover. Probably in the next few weeks will be the sway bar. And yes, I will film the entire installation, which people keep asking me. Yes, we will do that together. I will bring you under the truck. It will be a pain, but I will do my best. Uh, number two on the con list is headlights and tail lights. I mean that in the way of platinum ownership. Um, at this price point, the headlights and taillights, to me, should be LED, um, HID, something along that line, something better. I like that it has the LED strip for uh, daytime running lights. It looks really cool, actually. So big thumbs up on that Toyota. But as far as the regular headlight, that needs to be upgraded. And, you know, I mean, let's just do the taillights, too. I like what they've done with uh, the taillights on the Tacoma. That's an upgraded look. It's got a little blacked out background stuff on that. That would be great. Um, headlights and taillights eventually will be upgraded on this truck. But like I said, I got a long list of mods and we're pacing ourselves this time. We're not doing it all at once. Uh, last but not least on the cons list is the lack of the basics. Lack of the basics like the grab handle and storage. I know it's the crew max. I could put anything back there. I could sleep back there if I wanted to. I could probably install like a bunk bed system or something. But overall, there's just not a lot of storage. And that's kind of one of my complaints in the 14 and up Tundra. It doesn't have as many storage bins in it as the 7 to 13 did. 7 to 13 had so many storage bins, it was almost obnoxious. But man, they went drastic from a ton of storage bins to bare minimum. I think that the Crew Max should come standard with the bin underneath the seat in the back. It could be done. I'm not really sure why it hasn't been done. That's definitely one of my complaints. There should be a bin back there, especially at this price point. Just saying. All right, so those are my three cons. My top needs attention is the steering wheel leather is too slippery. I miss the old steering wheel material that was on the SR5s, I'll be honest with you. It looks good on the steering wheel for sure, but man, if you're if you're me, you know you guys know I'm always jogging, so when I get back in the truck, I'm sweaty. Your hand slides all over the steering wheel. On the 1794, you have a little wood grain on certain points of the wheel that's kind of like a hard rubber and it's very grippy. If that's the case, you're in good shape, but this all leather steering wheel, it's, it's quite slippery and that needs some attention. So I'm definitely, uh, when I drive, I make sure my hands are completely dry. You know, if it's raining out, make sure you, you pay attention and don't trust one hand. Use two hands on the wheel. But yeah, so that's my list of the first month of ownership. Couldn't be happier. I'm glad I did what I did. As much as I love the TRD Pro Tundra, this was the absolute next level Tundra. It was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. If I passed it up, I would be stupid and doing an injustice to all of you. This is great, my fifth Tundra. So the first month of ownership was fantastic. And I'm still learning the truck, I'm still learning the features, um, but you know, I'm not gonna do another ownership update probably until six months. But I wanted to get that first month out of the way, especially because it was a new trim level that I've never dealt with before. I'm gonna add one thing to the end of this list because I get asked this one a lot. The JBL sound system is awesome. I'm not really sure what you guys are talking about. Maybe they upgraded it in some way for 2017, but I love it. What are you guys talking about here? It's fantastic. You go to sound, you mess with, you know, your treble and your bass and all that. The thing bumps and it bumps music you wouldn't expect it to bump, like classic rock. I'm a big fan. Maybe I'm just old. I'm not a big sound system guy. It is 10 times better than the regular sound system in the SR5 and the SR5 upgrade. JBL sound system, I'm a fan. Let me know what you think. But that's all I got to say about my first month of ownership of this here, Platinum Pro. Uh, let me know what you think about the truck so far. Let me know what you think about the videos of the truck so far. And of course, let me know what you think about my list here. All right, comment below the video or find me on Twitter and Instagram at Tundra234. Guys, it's Saturday. Go out. Have fun. See you later.